Hello everyone. Let's provide a solution to this problem very quickly. Square root of x plus x equals to 2x. What do I do? Take this to the other side, right? This is called collecting like terms. So x will be equal to 2x minus x, meaning that square root of x is equal to x. Okay, so from here, you can even tell what the answer should be. Okay, but then, how do you deal with this? Remove, you know, <clears throat> you're going to square both sides to remove the square root. And then you have your x squared. Now, this and this will cancel, meaning that um, our x is now free, right? So that we have x to be equal to x um, squared. Now, what do we do? bring um everything to one side remember this is the same thing as x squared to be equal to x right and then our x squared minus x is equal to zero now we can factor out our x so if x comes out here we have one x minus one and then everything equal to zero if you open the bracket you're going to have what you have there back now, x is equal to 0 or x minus 1 is equal to 0. So, x here is going to be equal to 0 or on the other side, x minus 1 is equal to 0. So that from here, we still have x to be equal to 0 or x to be equal to 0 plus 1. x is equal to 0 or x is equal to 1, right? Now, bringing the two solutions together, we have x to be equal to 0 or 1. And if you put this value of x into the original equation, will it satisfy the equation? Let's take a look. So, if I want to put in the value, x is 0, right? So, this means I'm going to have um, square root of 0 plus here we're having 0 because x is 0. Everything is equal to 2 multiplied by 0. Now, square root of 0 is 0 plus 0. And then 2 times 0 is 0. So, 0, 0. Meaning that x is equal to 0 satisfies the, the equation. Now, let's try 1. If you're going to work with 1, then we'll have square root of 1 plus 1 equal to 2 multiplied by 1. Because x is 1, right? Now, square root of 1 is 1 plus 1. And that should be equal to 2 times 1 is 2. And then, then 1 plus 1 is 2. So we have 2 on both sides. So this is also a confirmation that x equal to 1 also satisfies the given equation. Thank you for watching.